Hello everyone, uh, I'm Gaurav Kant and welcome to my channel Embryo Talks where we discuss basics of embryology. So today I'm going to discuss about a very relevant topic that is whether to use a single step media or a sequential media in an IVF lab. So before going ahead we should know what actually is a single step media. In single step media you change media once only that is on day one PN stage and you don't change the media till day five that is the blastocyst stage while in sequential you change the media on day one and day three so the both media the both media require the temperature uh, carbon dioxide humidity but in single step media you put all the nutrition into uh, the media and let the embryo choose what it wants while in sequential it is more physiological and it is designed according to the in vivo conditions. So there is always a debate that which kind of media is better, whether the single step media is good or a sequential. And some say single is better because you have lesser interference here, while some say sequential is better because uh, it is more physiological. So let's uh, look at the evidences and arguments that which media should be used in the IVF lab. So for any IVF lab, the two most important thing is the first is the blastocyst rate. And the second is the clinical pregnancy rate or the live birth rate from the IVF lab. So let's look at the evidences, what they suggest about these two things. So I want to start with the first slide. Uh, this table has been presented in uh, actually 2015. And it clearly says that there is no significant difference between the blastocyst rate, the aneuploidy rate, and the ongoing pregnancy rate between the single step media and the sequential media. But looking at the other data available, like this study uh, published in 2013 in Fortality Sterility, in 260 cases, they found that there's a higher blastocyst rate when you're using a single step media over a sequential. So when you use a single step media, there is a higher blastulation rate up to 51.5%. Comparing sequential, which is just 40.7%. So whenever we talk about the best form of studies, we look for randomized controlled trial. And uh, comparing single versus sequential, there is a, the most relevant uh, randomized controlled trial available with the name of SUMMIT trial. That is the sequential versus monophysic media impact trial published in 2016. Uh, here, 2,200 zygotes were uh, randomized between the sequential and the uh, single step media, and they found that while using single step, uh, while using sequential media, there is a blastocyst rate. There is a higher euploid usable blastocyst rate with sequential media comparing with the single step media. There is a, re a recent publication in 2018 by a very big group of Laura Rinzi and Ubaldi. Uh, they have presented a data from 1600 cycle and they found that uh, there is a higher blastulation rate while using a single step media. And uh, if we talk about the no blastocyst formed at the end of the culture, it is higher with the sequential media. Uh, another uh, beautiful study by Fontaris, which talks about the, which, which is the systemic review and meta analysis of randomized controlled trial says that uh, which says that although there is a higher blastulation rate with the single step media, but the difference in the top quality blastocyst is not there, it is non significant. So, till now, we can say that uh, the uh, regarding the blastulation rate, the data is mixed and, uh, and there is no significant difference in the blastulation rate. Now, another systemic review and meta analysis uh, which talks about the clinical outcome comparing the single versus the sequential one is that there is no difference in the clinical pregnancy rate, miscarriage rate when you're comparing single versus the sequential culture media. So, there is a very beautiful paper by Jason Swain which says that there is no difference in the aneuploidy rate when you're comparing single step media with the sequential one. So till now we know that there is no significant difference in the blastocyst rate according to the evidences. There is no significant difference in the pregnancy rate. There is no significant difference in the miscarriage rate and there is no significant difference in the aneuploidy rate when we are comparing single versus the sequential data. Now let's move to the arguments, the day-to-day -day practice, which media is best when you're using in the lab. So the first argument is 
you go from the different consensus to different papers the first thing they talk about is the minimum disturbance to culture system but what happens in sequential we change the media twice changing twice means what change in temperature change in ph more physical stress while manipulating the embryos means we may increase the stress on the embryo even this been proved by the lots of studies one of the good study published in 2019 says that if you have a undisturbed culture condition in a high quality bench top incubator you may achieve a higher live birth rate of around 43.2% by using a undisturbed culture conditions my in, my second argument is in sequential media you incubate media thrice means you there is a chance that you may miss to incubate the media we all can say that we are expert it doesn't happen with us but always remember the murphy's law if anything that can go wrong will go wrong so it is better to minimize the steps in the ivf lab to achieve errorless practice the third and the most one of the most important point is the autocrine and the paracrine factor secreted by the embryo itself to promote the growth of its own and the other embryos so in sequential media we are actually washing away those factors so we are dissolving those kind of benefits to the embryo the fourth and the most important point is that the artificial intelligence and the time lapse imaging is the future of embryo culture and it is very difficult to use a sequential media in time lapse systems so it is advised to use single step so if you look at the future uh, the artificial intelligence single step media is better to use so till now we can say that there is no significant difference in the blastocyst rate and the clinical outcome between the single step and the sequential but if we look at the autocrine and the paracrine factors we look at the comfort uh, of using the media if we look at the future of a culture system that is the artificial intelligence and time lapse then single step is the choice so if in your lab if you have sequential and the single step media compare the outcome if you are getting the same kind of outcome uh, then i will advise you to use the single step thank you